Hey guys, my name is Ethan, this is Cobra, welcome to see where I teach you how to build a Discord or Prime music bot for your server. Today, we are talking about uh, going forward and backward through the queue, or in layman terms, skipping tracks. Um, so we're going to include a, a skip and a previous. So not a lot of uh, music bots actually implement the previous track thing. But again, as I keep saying, we're going for uh, MP3 emulation in this series so we are going to be including it um, so we can come down here underneath our stop command is probably the best place for this and we just need two commands so we're going to be doing them one at a time commands dot command name equals uh, I'm going to do next and set an alias alias is as skip I'm just calling it next to make it more consistent in the code um, as we'll have a next command and as you'll see in a second we'll have a previous command um, uh, we don't need any other argument. I'll keep doing that. So the first thing, as always, is the player. We need we need the player to be able to do anything. So we can get the player via the context. Um, then we need to check if there are any queue, uh, any tracks actually left in the queue. So we can simply use our upcoming property that we created in the queue episode, player.queue.upcoming. Uh, raise no more tracks, which is an error we need to... Um, create. So essentially this just uh, returns the list of upcoming tracks, something we did in the queue episode, so if you haven't seen that you should probably go and see it. And if that returns an empty list, there are no more tracks to play, so we throw the error saying there are no more tracks. Otherwise we do await player.stop um, and await ctx.send uh, playing next track in queue. Um, this, uh, so what was going on about with the stop command, about how we have to empty the queue to actually stop it, um, I can actually kind of uh, finish my explanation, or I guess reinforce the explanation. So the await player.stop, it goes through this event here on player stop, which plays the next track, advance. So to skip it, we, all we need to do is just stop the player and all the rest of the, of the systems will handle themselves and play the next track for us. Which is why we needed to do the, which is why we need to empty the queue in the stop command. Um, so we actually need to go up to the top, and I'm going to define two errors real quick. So we are going to do class no more tracks. Um, no, it's not a spin-off of no more heroes. <laughs> um, it's not a game I've actually ever played, but apparently it's apparently it's okay, which is something. <laughs> I also actually uh, copied nothing um, to the keyboard to the clipboard there, which is good. And we're also going to make no previous tracks while we're up here as well, so we don't have to scroll all the way back up. We come to do this. Now the previous tracks is a bit of a botch, but it does work. <laughs> so bear with me. Um, well, actually, before we do that, we need to do um, the error handling for the next command. Before we forget, like we did for the play command. So async def. Uh, the next command error. I just forgot what naming convention I used. So self context and then our exception. If is instance. There we go. I was waiting for it to come up. Uh, if our exception is one of no more tracks, uh, then we simply say. Um, oops. Awaits. Um, CTX sends there are no more tracks in the queue and it is actually possible if I have my notes here for us to run into a queue is empty um, error now this uh, theoretically speaking uh, this is not handled here this is handled somewhere else I'm pretty sure this is handled in our yeah this is handled on advance so if we go in advance and so we hit this queue is uh, empty error then we actually need to tell the user in the stop command we didn't need to worry about that because that was the expected behavior uh, but we do actually need to let the user know whoops not hit, hit the wrong button um, that the queue is empty if it turned out like that so we're gonna catch our queue is empty um, await ctx.send and this error is a little longer so I'm actually just gonna copy paste it out the notes uh, a skip could not be executed as the queue is currently empty. Um, or I guess you could say like this could not be executed, I guess. 
as the queue is currently empty. Um, so the reason I've added this Canopy SQ, it just adds like a little more context rather than the queue is empty. Uh, it actually gives a reason for the error. So the previous command is actually very similar. In fact, it's more or less a copy paste. So I'm literally going to copy paste this um, and fix this capital L that I've got lying around. <laughs> um, hopefully that was annoying anyone. And we're going to do just set this to actually we're going to do some next and then previous. Uh, set all that up at the same time, and then we don't really need an alias for this, I guess. There isn't really an alias for uh, previous. There isn't really like a, a skip back. There's an opposite to skip, which is a bit weird. At least not one that's um, particularly known. So if not player.q.history, we set no previous tracks. Again, we're using our history um, uh, property that we defined in the episode where we dealt with the queue. So. If you again, if you didn't see that, you probably should have left the video by now and gone to watch that. Uh, so you may be wondering what we actually need to do here, because of course player .stop advances the uh, the track one. So what do we do? Well, we botched the hell out of it by manually offsetting the Q position um, to equal itself minus two. Uh, I imagine. I didn't run into this myself, but I imagine this could probably cause some problems if you use a, a previous command at the same time that the player is moving to the next track anyway. I imagine it, it could probably offset the uh, the position weirdly and you can end up with some strange results. But I imagine that's probably true of the next command as well in all complete honesty. Um, yeah, this just sets the queue position back two because the the on player stop then adds one to it. So across these two lines, we're doing a net um, operation of setting the Q position minus equals one. Um, and then of course, we, we catch on no previous tracks here already, so we don't need to worry about that. Um, and we pretty much actually just copy paste the error handling to. Uh, instead of next, we have previous. Is there any okay, no. uh, previous and then if you're wondering how to do that in VS Code, it is Control D. Uh, that this whole like select more than one thing at once thing. I think I think it's Control D in Sublime by default as well, but I don't know. You'd have to you'd have to double check that one for me. Um, so what did I? Yeah, there are no previous tracks in in the queue, so we just set that. We're just changing a few words. Uh, yeah. So that should be fine. Um, so launch the terminal. Oh, we've got a problem apparently. We've got two specifically. The name commands is not the... Oh, did I spell something wrong? Um, it, it's looking as though I spelled something wrong. Did I spell something? Where is that? Oh, it's here. It's in the error handler. Okay. Um, okay. That was my bad. Uh, so we want to just do that. There's all my git commands <laughs> committing all sorts of stuff. Um, so uh, we need to queue some songs. I've actually got I've actually got my list of songs here now, so I can just choose one. Uh, hopefully that we haven't heard before. Uh, so we're going to put this one on first. Oh, and my voice is going to break at the same time. It's great. Uh, we're going to have this one just so we know it's the correct one. And then we're also going to put some feeling diff on by George. I'm going to hope that comes up with enough. It does! Fantastic! Um, okay, cool. So we have uh, two songs in the queue now. So if I were, if I just uh, clarify that, there we go. And next up, we have our Hernandez song in the queue. So if we wanted to go back, um, we couldn't because there are no previous tracks in the queue. If we wanted to skip, we could. We just skip our song. And now we're playing Feeling Diff. So if we go in the queue now, we'll have the currently playing Feeling Diff. If we were to go next again, there are no more tracks in the queue, so it can't do it. However, if we were to go previous, it would then play... Um, it would then play our, our Young Logo song. And because the queue is persistent 
the Feeling Dust song is still there, so we can go to the next song and then we're back uh, to it. So, uh, yeah, not a lot of music bots actually have this capability. I'm pretty sure, like, Rhythm doesn't have it. So if you really want to flex on your mates, um, then you can you can use this and say, hey, I did something that Rhythm doesn't. Um, and you can be called cool. Or if you want, and you can uh, you can credit me, and oh, I can be called cool. I can be the coolest person in the world. But yeah, as always, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section below, or you can join a Discord user link in the description. While you're in the description, I would recommend that you check out all my other social links. So if you want to fo uh, follow me on Facebook or Twitter, or if you want to follow my library channel, then you can do so from there. But yeah, that's going to do it for this video. Uh, if you liked it, then say hello down below. If you really liked it, consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell so you don't miss out on future uploads. If you really, really liked it, then consider supporting me on Patreon. Of course, you don't have to, but a really cool thing of you to do. With that in mind, I would like to have my super patrons, Darky and Jackster, and I will see you next time for what I believe to be the last video in the series. There could be more added, of course, when we talk about uh, shuffling the queue and doing uh, repeat modes and stuff, so repeat all, repeat one, repeat off, and stuff like that. And um, we're also going to be, yeah, doing the stuff in the shuffle. So there's some quite advanced stuff uh, left to go for the last episode in this. So I'll see you for that. Mm -hmm.